Hello people, today I just wanted to do a quick video about the chair I use for my camping and fishing. A lot of people joke about it because it's a kiddies chair but it does the job and I've just bought one of these um, more expensive sort of bucket seat type chairs that a lot of people use and I just wanted to show you the difference basically. So this is the kiddies chair. It packs down to about 21 inches on length and about 6 inch on the wider side, like the top end, and obviously narrow down the bottom. And uh, it's actually quite light, 43.4 ounces for the kiddies child chair. I'll show you how it's set up very quick and easy. This is a, just a cheap chair I bought on eBay for about, I think it was £12. And look, job done, straight away. So it's not very high, it's about 13 inches on ground to the seating area. Um, I do really like this chair. I know it's a kiddies chair, but it's quite light for what it is. And it's quick to set up and I've been using it for about two years now camping and fishing quite where it's low you just kick your feet out across the ground lay back in it got a nice back support for you know I guess the older generation or something or me definitely I feel the cold on your back and it's not good for you like your kidneys and that so it's good to have that solid back in there and something to lean on to take your sort of weight off whatnot. You know how a chair works. Um, the only reason I bought this other chair is because this one's starting to see its days, it's starting to fall apart, so I thought I'd buy another one. But I thought I'd give the, the other one a go. It seems like the majority of people are using them. But, um, yeah, so, the only problem with this, yeah, I think, pretty much the only problem, the only downside of this chair is these bars here, obviously where it's made for a child your back is smaller and everything to fit in there but me, and you know I'm not the slimmest of guys um, my back does press against these bars here and after about, it's alright for a couple of hours but after about four hours or so like the camping just get a bit uncomfortable I have padded it out a bit, I'll put a bit of padding inside, which does help a lot. Um, and these little bits here, my legs sort of tend to go across them, so you've got to sort of anchor yourself a bit. So you get to the campsite, done. Or fishing spot. I'd say for a couple of hours, it's right. these two bits here that do dig in your back a bit so they do need like padding out also I've got a bit of foam in there but you know I'm an adult I'm not a child it's not built for adults but for 12 pounds quite light yeah definitely worth getting so that's the little fold up kiddies chair and fold it down and just collapse it like that and job done right now this one that everyone seems to have the sort of bucket seat thing and uh, I haven't used it yet I've set it up already but um, I'll give you my opinion on it First of all you get the sort of like the cover separate stuff sack obviously. Yeah, <laughs> this fiddly old thing which is the legs. 
aluminium, but it's quite quite thick aluminium. Basically, just, and it's got all these uh, like elastic straps on it, so it really pings in the face. These be quick. That's a frame. And like I say, you get this cover. The, it's got a back support, obviously, but it's a mess. It's good in the summer, obviously, or after you just walked a long distance to air out your back. But after a period of time, I can imagine you getting cold on the back, especially in the winter. You might want to put a, something over that, like a jumper or blanket or something that means something else to carry or something to take off yourself to keep your back warm you know what I mean or whatever so we get this on like so yeah. it's definitely more fiddly <laughs> got these Little bits to put them in. Yeah. Tight fit. Your, I don't know what you call these things, the, the, the bucket seat, it's, it goes on about so so much how lightweight it is, I've got all the details here, it's 50.70 ounces compared to the child seat which is 43.4 ounces, so it's heavier, obviously the legs are heavier even though the aluminium and on the child seat it's still and it's 12 inches roughly from the ground up to the seat area so you're an inch lower but this seat as I'll show you in a minute when you sit in it it does sort of set you back a bit more whereas the child seat you're more upright so first of all you've got vent there vent there solid bit on your bum bit nice vent on your back I say it's um, nice and airy for warmer periods, I guess. The um, legs here got these little grommets on the end. I can imagine them digging right into the soft ground, so you might have to build something or put a bit of wood underneath, stop them from doing that. Well, it sinks in the st stones a bit. Yeah. <laughs> it, uh, the legs are definitely digging. Sunk in already. Pebbles here, but it's probably just, well, it would be the same on dirt. This one you can lean back a bit more, get a bit of a tan in this nice wintry weather. It's definitely more comfortable. I do feel a bit more um uh sort of, what's the word? Relaxed and you know, sort of just chilled out sort of thing not up and square like at a school table like with the kiddies one there but um yeah definitely more comfortable you haven't got the bars digging in your back like you do with a child seat um, you've got the top of the bar right on the tip there 
and my back fits in in between obviously but I do feel I can feel a chill in the back through the vent there so I would have to bring a coat down as you can see dug right in I've even I've even lost one of the um, rubber grommets on the end of the feet there that's not good but yeah you had to put a coat or something back try again yeah that's definitely better so that's the I'll call it the bucket seat see it's sunk right in and I've lost already yeah one of the foot ends and this chair costs about £20 whereas the other chair costs about £12 and you can pick them up between £12 and £15 these ones you can get like about 18 to 20 pound so it's another thing to think about So that's the two chairs, kiddies one on the left and the bucket one on the right. And to be honest, I think I've got to do away with the bucket one because there's too many cons than pros, I think, for it. Yes, it's more comfortable and uh, probably more comfortable for a longer period of sitting, but it's heavier. And I've already lost one of the foot grommet things that goes on the end and it dug straight into the soil well pebbles here straight away and it takes longer to set up whereas the kiddies one set up two seconds it's lighter but yes it's um just digging your back a little bit but um the padding i've put on that helps a lot and i've been all right for what two years now using that so I think I might do away with the bucket one and give myself another kiddies chair. So anyway, that's my quick review opinion on these chairs. I thought I'd do it. Just might help someone out. All right. Okay. I right. say thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.